In this video, I'm going to show you how I make my tofu look and taste like chicken. It's probably way easier than you think. You just need a little bit of patience and to follow a few easy steps. So I hope you enjoy. So start by grabbing some tofu from your local grocery store. It doesn't matter what brand you use. I've used different brands um, as long as I get the extra firm. That's what I'm looking for and that's what I use. Then I'm just going to open up the package and uh, dry it off a little bit. Uh, it comes with like liquid in here so you're going to want to take it out of the package probably over the sink so your counter doesn't get all wet. I just put it on some paper towel and dry it up a little bit. That's it. Tofu doesn't have any specific flavor. It will taste like whatever seasonings you use to flavor it. Um, so in terms of cutting it, I often cut it in cubes. So get my knife and go straight down this way, straight down that way. and they will be like little one centimeter cubes. Um, I often just put it in a frying pan or even in the oven, like bake it at 350 for about 30 minutes or I'd like, I check the texture and that's all good. But it looks like tofu and has like a tofu texture. The outside might be like crispy or dry, but the inside is still soft when you have a lot of the flesh so I found a way to make it look more like chicken and taste more like chicken um, I actually even tricked Jim completely I made a stir-fry with it this way and he was like that chicken was so tender so I'm gonna show you how I do that so you're gonna want to get yourself a non-stick pan that really helps especially if you don't want to use oil um, today I'm just going to use a basic cooking spray just to help it not stick to the pan and so I don't have to use oil but if you don't mind the calories then oil is fine Wow. so what you're gonna want to do is place your pan on the stove at medium heat and get the pan a little bit warm before you place the tofu in but I'm just gonna show you it here because it's there's better lighting here than where my stove is um, and you don't need a knife here is the part that's going to make it look like chicken so instead of cutting it in cubes you are just going to crumble it with your hands so basically break apart pieces okay start off rough and just break it apart Okay, then get the bigger pieces and break them apart. Exposing more of the center spongy soft flesh and getting that on the heat and getting it uh, more evenly cooked and coated gives it more of a firm texture and it just really, it looks more like chicken and then it helps to taste more like chicken rather than soft, spongy tofu. So I often just do a rough thing like this and then while it's cooking, I continue to break things apart that I think looks like a weird shape. And if I want it to look more like chicken, I'll just cut it with my spatula. But um, I'll do it now. So at this point when I'm usually doing this, it's on the stove and it's getting warm and I'm hearing the sizzling and this is where I'll season it while it's on the stove. So I always season my tofu with the same three ingredients, sea salt, black pepper, and garlic powder. These three staples make the tofu taste delicious, whether you're uh, frying it up on a pan or baking it in the oven. This is the perfect combination. 
the additional seasonings all depend on what kind of flavor I'm going for. If I want things to taste a little bit more Mexican, then I will add some ch uh, like chili powder, some lime juice to these ingredients. If I want maybe more of an Italian flavor, I'll add some oregano, basil, parsley. Um, and because today I'm making an Asian stir fry, later on I'm going to be adding some soy sauce and sweet chili sauce. So these three ingredients is what you need to start with and it'll make it taste delicious. So my tofu has been sitting on the stove for about five minutes already and I just, you know, turn it every once in a while while I'm cutting up my other veggies or getting the other parts of my dish ready. Um, you might be tempted to put it at a higher heat to cook it faster, but don't. Keep it at medium heat the entire time. Um, the longer you cook it at a lower temperature, like nice and slowly, the more it'll have the texture of chicken because tofu is very soft and watery. And the longer you cook it at a lower temperature, it gives it time to dry out and have more of a chicken texture. Also, the, the longer you wait, the more browned it'll get all around, and the more evenly browned it gets, the more it looks like chicken. Like, to me, it's already starting to look like chicken compared to when I first crumbled it. So, yeah, the longer you get it browned, the longer you let it dry out, it's gonna look and taste more like chicken. So you have to be patient. There's no trick to it other than patience. And I'm like, I have the least patience out of everyone I know, but I'm patient with my tofu because it makes all the difference in the world. It tastes like so much better. So it's been cooking on the stove for about 15 minutes at medium heat, but personally I like things a little bit more brown, so I'm probably gonna keep it on uh, lower heat, like go right down to low, and keep it on for another five minutes before I pull it off the stove. So it was on the stove for about 20 minutes in total, and I took off the heat now. It's the perfect color and texture for me. Like, I love the little crispy edges. Um, it's honestly perfect. I want to try one. Perfect. Mm-mm. It tastes good just like this. Like honestly, I'd eat this as a snack. I like the smaller little crispy pieces. So yeah, now I just have to combine this all with my sauteed veggies and my steamed rice. So this is the finished product and I think it looks absolutely delicious and it honestly tastes even better. It's all about the seasoning. So if you feel like it doesn't have any flavor, then you probably need to add a little bit more of the seasonings. While my rice is finishing up in the slow cooker, I have some vegetables sauteing on the stove at medium heat. I just put in a little bit of water to get it tender and um, now I'm just going to add in some Brig soy seasoning. If you have soy sauce, you can use that as well. And I'm also going to throw in some sweet chili sauce. So this is what's going to flavor my entire dish. If I need to add more, once I add the tofu and rice in, then I'll add more. I'll just taste it and see. What I love about stir fries is that you can literally put in whatever you have in the fridge. Like I often put mushrooms and broccoli, um, just so many different combinations. Pretty much anything tastes good. Today I had um, carrots, red and yellow bell peppers, celery and some green onions. So that's what's going to make up the veggie part of my stir fry. And my brown rice is almost ready. And then I'm just gonna combine everything into this pan and mix it up. You don't need to worry about all the liquid that the vegetables are producing. Um, it's mixing with the seasoning and it's making like a nice sauce and all the extra liquid will be absorbed by the rice and the tofu. So I cooked my vegetables for about five or 10 minutes and I got it to the perfect tenderness that I like. 
Um, and now I'm just going to um, add everything else in. This is the finished product of the stir fry. It tastes absolutely amazing. I hope you try this recipe. Let me know if you do. Um, I think the tofu came out perfectly. It's absolutely delicious. And I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. See you in the next one.